Lisa del Giocondo was an Italian noblewoman and member of the Gerardini family of Florence and Tuscany. Her name was given to the Mona Lisa, her portrait commissioned by her husband and painted by Leonardo da Vinci during the Italian Renaissance. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. On March 5, 1495, 15-year-old Lisa married Francesco del Giocondo, a modestly successful cloth and silk merchant, becoming his third wife. Lisa's dowry was 170 florins and the San Silvestro farm near her family's country home. The modest dowry may be a sign that the Gerardini family was not wealthy at the time and lends reason to think she and her husband loved each other. Neither poor nor among the most well-to-do in Florence, the couple lived a middle-class life. Lisa's marriage may have increased her social status because her husband's family may have been richer than her own. They lived in shared accommodation until March 5, 1503, when Francesco was able to buy a house next door to his family's old home in the Via della Stufa. Leonardo is thought to have begun painting Lisa's portrait the same year. Lisa and Francesco had five children named. Pira, Camilla, Marietta, and Andrea between 1496 and 1502. Lisa lost a baby daughter in 1499. Lisa also raised Bartolomeo, the son of Francesco and his first wife Camilla di Mariato Russelli, who died shortly after the birth. Francesco became an official in Florence. He was elected to the Dodici Bunomini in 1499 and to the Signoria in 1512, where he was confirmed as a priori in 1524. He may have had ties to Medici family political or business interests. In 1512, when the government of Florence feared the return of the Medici from exile, Francesco was imprisoned and fined 1,000 florins. He was released in September when the Medici returned. In June 1537, in his will among many provisions, Francesco returned Lisa's dowry to her, gave her personal clothing and jewelry and provided for her future. Upon entrusting her care to their daughter Ludovica and, should she be incapable, his son Bartolomeo, Francesco wrote, Given the affection and love of the testator towards Mona Lisa, his beloved wife, in consideration of the fact that Lisa has always acted with a noble spirit and as a faithful wife, wishing that she shall have all she needs. Like other Florentines of their financial means, Francesco's family members were art lovers and patrons. His son Bartolomeo asked Antonio di Donnino Mazzieri to paint a fresco at the family's burial site in the Basilica della Santissima Annunziata di Firenze. Andrea del Sarto painted a Madonna for another member of his family. Francesco gave commissions to Leonardo for a portrait of his wife and to Domenico Pulago for a painting of St. Francis of Assisi. He is thought to have commissioned Lisa's portrait to celebrate both Andrea's birth and the purchase of the family's home. The Mona Lisa fulfilled 15th and early 16th century requirements for portraying a woman of virtue. Lisa is portrayed as a faithful wife through gesture. Her right hand rests over her left. Leonardo also presented Lisa as fashionable and successful perhaps more well-off than she was. Her dark garments and black veil were Spanish-influenced high fashion. They are not a depiction of mourning for her first daughter, as some scholars have proposed. The portrait is strikingly large. Its size is equal to that of commissions acquired by wealthier art patrons of the time. This extravagance has been explained as a sign of Francesco and Lisa's social aspiration. During the spring of 1503, 
Leonardo da Vinci had no income source, which may in part explain his interest in a private portrait. But later that year, he most likely had to delay his work on Mona Lisa when he received payment for starting the Battle of Anghiari, which was a more valuable commission and one he was contracted to complete by February 1505. In 1506, Leonardo considered the portrait unfinished. He was not paid for the work and did not deliver it to his client. The artist's paintings traveled with him throughout his life, and he may have completed the Mona Lisa many years later in France, in one estimation by 1516. The painting's title dates to 1550. An acquaintance of at least some of Francesco's family, Giorgio Vasari, wrote, Leonardo undertook to paint, for Francesco del Giocondo, the portrait of Mona Lisa, his wife. By the end of the 20th century, the painting was a global icon that had been used in more than 300 other paintings and in 2,000 advertisements, appearing at an average of one new advertisement each week. The Mona Lisa has been in custody of France since the 16th century, when it was acquired by King Francis since the French Revolution, it has been the property of the French Republic. Today about 6 million people visit the painting each year at the Louvre in Paris, where it is part of a French national collection. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.